just unmute myself. Let me uh, let me just pop the link in, and then I'll I'll start. Allow. Um. Ooh. Got an advert. One second. I'll grab the link after this. Are you doing it on Twitch? Are you? Yeah. 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 Right. I'll be reading the comments if you want. Yeah. No problem. But no problem. Um. And right, also, I'll see if my voice is coming through. Oh, fucking Adam. Oops. <laughs> right, I've just got the link now, and I'll post that one second. Uh, where does it go? No. Testing, testing, Mike. Through. Right, evening all. Thanks for joining us. This is CDR Tier 3. First round of Season 6. We're at Austria. Uh, tonight on comms, you've got myself, Claire Mull. And tonight, I'm joined by Culpe. Evening, guys. Nice to be back here again. Yeah, nice to have you here. Um, one thing to note with this race, uh, it is, or this season, to be honest, it's the first time we've run sprint races. Uh, and this round, Austria, is the first sprint session of the season. So we'll only be running a short qualifying, then the sprint race, followed by a 50% race. So definitely going to be interesting. As Mechanicals popped in the comments saying, dry quality, wet sprint, dry race. This is exactly the same as it was on Friday in Tier 1. Dry, wet, dry. Yeah, ours was uh, dry, dry, wet. Um, it did dry up towards the end of the feature race, but definitely interesting conditions. You know, mix, mixed conditions. It gives, it, it throws a few more names in the hat for a, a shout at a decent result. As there we go, we've got uh, Mr. Blue New Soul, Mr. Tier 3 champion himself, popping in the comments. Oh, yeah, yeah. I fell over here. Uh, just on board with Jackie, he's the first on an outlap at the moment. Yeah. Um. How did you find the track with changing conditions on Friday? Did, um, did you make self changes or just use the same one? No, con considering it was dry, dry quality, followed by a dry feature race, I didn't want to play around for the sprints. Um, that's what I was actually going to say, to be honest. Uh, with it being a sprint in wet, those people who are better in wet conditions are going to benefit if they have a full quality result here. Because obviously, for the feature race, that's what the sprint race is for. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like myself in Tier 1, I, I think I qualified P14, but so started in P10 for the feature race, which, which helped me out a lot. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I, I qualified P8, um, had a bit of a spin through the sprint race, was up in a good position, but ended up dropping back. Uh, managed to fight back to, I think it was 11th. Oh, yeah, Kieran. Whoa, what happened there? Blocking the pit lane. Uh, he's I think spun he's... Out. No, yeah, I, he's spun out. Has he spun? Yeah, he's just picking up his car again, but... Uh, I wasn't it looked like I it. wasn't sure whether he'd, uh, as he was coming out of the pits, He'd seen a car coming up to turn one, so he'd slowed down, and then a car's come out behind him. As which Jackie is posted 105.7. Yeah, it is a glitch. Not a glitch, but something we've seen before the game. If another car comes out behind you, and you're in the way, the game will disqualify you for it. Yeah, Karen just said he spun on the exit of turn one as someone came out of the pits. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Um, 
Yeah, I'm expecting to see quite a close qualifying here, to be honest. Austria's, with it being a short track, it is one that always tends to throw very, very similar lap times in. What's your pole prediction for this qualifying? Ooh, I, I think you've got to look at the free title chat. Oh, four. I'd, I'd probably say four. I'm looking at mechanical jam pot. But you can't write out Kane Lowry or Gameful for, for the one lap pace. And then I'm one, oh, I've seen Wab Stappen's name now, and you know, he's he's another one who can set a good lap out and all. Uh, oh, T Bag just spanned coming out of Sector 2 with a Sector 2 purple sector as well. Wow. I was just about to say, would it sound too biased if I said my Hasbro's will be P1, P2, but. Never mind. <laughs> Well, matey boy again is another one who can who can pop up with a lap. Um, any, to be honest, anything can happen. <laughs> Blue says <it>, mechanical. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, you know, first yeah. first season, first race in these new cars. Couple of new faces here. Um, we've got Taylor Danny making his first full-time debut here in, in Tier 3. Uh, Webb Stappen's back in, in the grid. Uh, we've got Terry is here reserving. Um, new cars as well, people getting used to the new cars, new teammates and stuff. So it, it's, it's definitely going to be an interesting race. As Osso's invalidated his second lap. How did you find um, Austria and the fact that it was a it was a sprint race? Didn't ask you. Uh, the, the sprint, I think it's a nice feature to add. I'm glad we've not got too many of them because I, I didn't do too well. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it's it's a nice feature, and I think you know it's something introduced in in the real F1, which has has worked really well. Um, and I think you know, I think it will work here. We we don't offer points to the top eight for the sprint, it is just the top five. Um but it's it's definitely an interesting dynamic and it does it does sort of change up the weekend as well. As Jadoy says, it's funny not seeing blue and Andy five tenths clear at the top. <laughs> Uh, 19 viewers already guys thanks everyone for tuning in I was looking for Kieran there for a second but yeah yeah keep walking <laughs> oh no I see him now he's right at the bottom over there <laughs> oh the, also I think that's just the... invalidated his third lap on the final corner Kane Lowe is invalidated and um, Wab's on a lap uh, showing a purple set to one but he's not set a time yet I think this is his first first lap but yeah going back to to Kiera nothing to take away from him but I think the fact that we've got sprint introduced that will give him the chance to pull it back for the feature race where the, where the big points happen so I think that's, that's one good extra benefits and having some as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. definitely. If someone Yeah the, if you've got the odd, you know, bad performance from someone you'd expect better from, then the sprint gives you that chance to, to claw it back. Maybe not in terms of points, but definitely in position for the feature race. Yeah. As Wab only manages a 107 one one one. <laughs> Offsaw's invalidated again. Uh, that could have been this and next lap, to be honest, because he did invalidate on the final. It was, corner. yes, yes, it was this and next lap. Uh, Dylan's on a lap now. Jump on board with Dylan. He's just come round to uh, one. Evening, Ginge. Taylor Danny, one and five four. 
that's a nice lap time a uh, nice lap time to be honest he was already in p1 but that's just uh an extra two tenths there he's found i think it's going to be a lot closer this season um i think Definitely. for three of the last four seasons here in tier three we've had a five-way battle into the final race of the season last season's the first time it was just between two and i think you know andy and blue moving up to to tier one this tier is going to be very close and there's uh there's there's a lot of names that that could pick up a potential race win and dylan manages a 105.8 puts himself p6 Still four cars out there who haven't set a lap. Yeah, mate is three tenths under at sector two, so he's looking to improve. Comes around the final corner. And he improves by two tenths, one or six three, puts him up to P10. Jampot is on a second run now. We've got Kane Lowry and Osso out in the pit. <laughs> As Ginge says, remember no bias to Alpine. And uh, Dan's commented saying, not bias at all, come on the Alpines. <laughs> I, can't, I can't move my mic to my mouth like you do, but for everyone listening, multi-21. <laughs> See what Jampot manages here, and he improves massively. 105.5 puts him up to P2. I think Jampot and Mechanical, after all the drivers voted for who they expected to be going for, for the title, I think it was between Jam and Mechanical. So both of them up there, P2, P3 at the moment. I'm just on board with King Luckman now. He's on, this, uh, he's on this outlap. He's one of the four that hasn't set a time yet. I'll stick on board with him. Yeah, I'm just on with Kane Lowry. Yet to set a time, but he is on a hot lap now. He's got Osso just behind him on track as well, who's not yet set a time. Yeah, he's just started his lap now. Two and three is so difficult to get right here. It's so easy to lose the rear. Or go over the curves. One of yeah. the two. Yeah, Ken Larry just managing a 1062, puts him up to P11. What did Osso manage? Uh, he's just coming up to the final corner. He has invalidated here before. He keeps it clean this time. What's he managed? A 105999 puts him up to P9. said that you can barely hear me so I turned up my mic. No problem. Uh, nice what corner. P8, 105.8. Not a bad time, as we said, very competitive, very close. Um, you know, Taylor Danny there, just dipping into the 105.4s, but a second covers first to uh, to, to 16th. Mm. There's T bag still in the pits. Wow. Looks like we've got Jam Pot and Mechanical going for a third run at it. Does this sound better, Kieran? Let me know. Yeah, yeah that sounds, done. A lot, sounds a lot better, mate. I'm just shy. There's so many people tuning in. That's all it is. I'm talking really quiet. <laughs> is there a way to check how long is left in this session? That's uh, interesting. Oh no, yeah, four minutes. Yeah. I was just about to say it should be up top left under yeah, the, uh, the qualifiers. 
Oh, have I just seen a sprinkle of water? It it's raining. Rain? It's starting to rain. What? I can see it in the pit lane. Oh, no way. This is going to throw it. Saki's oh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, Saki's retired yeah. in the pits. He has, uh, just he has, he has the habit to do this. Yeah. I'm just on board with Matey. He's still on, on soft, but he's pulling in a lap now. As the rain started going into turn one, so he might be one of the last ones to do so, <laughs> to improve. I was just looking for Matey Boy in a blue car, and I'm, I'm flicking back and up the leaderboard, and I could not find him, and then realised he's in the half this season. Oh, I think it's getting wet out there, or he might have lost it, but... Yeah, three quarters of a second over his time there at Sector 2. Yeah. Let's see who else is out. Terriers oh. is invalidated. Chris is a tenth and a half over at Sector 2. Uh, Dylan, just less than a tenth over at Sector 1. Yeah, this is, this is the time where you don't really want to be risking putting in a better lap than you've already got. Yeah, jams Especially in again with the sprint coming up. Dylan's time at Sector 1 is very close to his uh, his personal best though, so let's see what he manages through Sector 2. Dimster is trying now, he's going for a lap now. I'm not too sure nice. if I've seen the uh, DRS disabled message pop up. No, right. no, it's still, it's still on because I'm on board with Dimster and he's got it. This is going to have to be some lap from Dimster to put himself up there. Yeah, Dylan's into the pits as well. Not a bad qualifying session there from Dylan up in P8. Not bad from the Alpine lads, you know, team bosses watching, fifth and eighth. Let's see what Dempster manages through sector two. Oh, we've got, is that, who's that? That's T-Bag. T-Bag looks like he's had a spin at the entrance of the pit lane. Yeah, he's corrected it now, pulled into the pits, and Dimster's almost four tenths over his... Yeah. Oh, 1.2 over at Sector 2. Yeah. I think that will be it, then. Yeah, that will be it. Um, yeah, if this is going to be a wet sprint, I'd probably be expecting T-Bag to, to make his way up a fair number of places, so it's going to be an interesting start. Um, just hope everyone keeps it clean through, through the first laps. Yeah. It's one of those tracks where you're actually going to get better position at the end of the race if you stay clean, if you let people ahead of you make mistakes. and The track is just so tight. Definitely, definitely. But I just want a big shout out for Taylor Danny, though, uh, taking his first pole position. Yeah. His first race as a full-time driver here. Um, you know, and he's, he's took pole. And Batman do as well, snuck up there with a lap time, P2. 1055 dead, so brilliant lap times there from them too. Only eight thousandths away from jump up. Yeah, as we say, Austria being such a small track, you know, there's not much room for error. Um, lap times it's are small. very close. Yeah, it's small, it's tight, it's, it's quick. Yeah, it's and there's going to be no DRS as well for the sprint race, so literally raw pace and how clean you can keep it. That's it, tricky your, conditions. Pick, pick your point of overtake. I'm just trying to think who's, who's normally good in wet conditions. I think Gameful normally does quite well. Osso does well. Um, I know T-Bag's obviously one who does well in the wet. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah, As I've I never, said, Jam Pot on board with. Go on. Apologies there. Uh, Jam Pot and Mechanical being your probably your, your, your title favourites. Look like they will they just take it easy, try and keep it clean, and just take as many points as they can in the early stages. I don't know. Personally, if I was voted as a title contender. I'd have that itch about me to get out there and score as many as I can from the get-go. So yeah. it'll be interesting to see if they take it, take it clean or wherever they go, wherever they stay, stay in positions where they are and leave it for the feature race. Yeah, just confirmation of the quality results there. Uh, a second, less than a second covering the top 16. Uh, Kieran obviously disqualified for spinning and blocking the pit lane. 
And three bag and forks were not able to set a time though. But we have Taylor Danny on pole, Bartman do locking out the front row for the sprint race. I don't and know if it's full wets or inters. I was just going to say it looks a lot wetter here, but I can see it looks quite bright in the background. Yeah, I've never, never been on board with tier three races before, and I can see everyone saying, or oh, from from the past, that tea bag is really good, but getting from P nineteen, it's going to be difficult. It's definitely some how. feet. It is definitely some yeah. feet. But I think he went through a, a period towards the end of last season where he had three races in a row where he was voted driver of the week. Um, I think each of them were in the wet and managing to take podiums from around 15th on the grid. So he definitely can make positions up. He is definitely uh, can, a wet It merchant. can be done. can be done. He loves the wet work. <laughs> As yeah. Mechanical said, Teabag King of the Wet. Andy cheering everyone on, whereas Blue's just cheering on the Alpines. Right. We do our formation lap first, don't we? Yeah, yeah we do. Looks like everyone's on the intermediate tyre. Yeah. So this will definitely be an interesting start. Uh, Paranoid saying will it ra rain for the entire sprint? Not too sure yet. Um, all I was told was it was wet for the sprint, dry for the feature. Uh, Dan just asking rain for the race. No, it's uh, dry for the feature race. And Stingray's oh, tuned in. Part of the Ozone. <laughs> Stingray saying it's going to be easy for us <laughs> after yesterday's fan meet. <laughs> and Andy saying, Saki Wim, put your house on it. Um, I can't answer that honestly, so we'll just just skip it over that. <laughs> uh, can we put Andy's house on it? And then yeah. share the winnings between? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds, yeah, more plausible. <laughs> I definitely don't fancy living on the street for Christmas. We'll put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I will stick on board with Kieran for the start of the race, because I'm assuming you're going to be at the front. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch how everyone gets away at the front, see, see how it is. And then we'll uh, we'll start seeing the battles open up. Oh, battles start, sorry, gaps as they start opening up. And now we go where everyone tries lining up on the grid. A couple of people normally overshoot. We see the disqualification message pop up. I'm saying four disqualifications. How about you? Uh, I've not seen any so far. I'm just looking at the angles of the cars. The guys parked on the inside of the track. Uh, Bartman do Mechanical, Carl, all pointing across. But we've also got, is that Gameful? Oh, Gameful pointed to the we're right. Uh, Kieran as well. Yep, Kieran as well, yeah. that was four. And that's five lights and... Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It was, but that was strange. Right. Off we go. T-Bag did get a monster start. Uh, Jampot bogged down there. He's lost a number of positions. Is that Gameful and Bark having contact? I think Gameful oh, might have spun span. there. Also spun. Also spun. Oh, and a Mercedes. It looks like oh, a Mercedes yeah. of King Luckman has just put uh, just put Dylan into the wall there. Is this a full safety car or VSC? Uh, it's looking like a see. VSC. Normally, if you look at the track map at the bottom, it'd normally yeah, show no, the yellow dot there. coming out of the... Uh, Saki gets a five-second penalty for collision with Luckman. Under, yeah, under no, the VSC, that would have been, under, that had been yeah. VSC, yeah. But Mechanical has managed to take the lead from Taylor on the uh, the opening couple of corners we got to see. Dylan has got no front wing. Also has got no front wing. This is going to... Yeah, I saw in the background, I'm not too sure what happened, I but I saw Dinster. a Mercedes, a Mercedes pushing the Alpine into the barrier, 
Uh, it was like the Alpine had spun in front of the Mercedes and they were they were stuck together. Uh, that would but have been just, King Gluckman and Dylan. But it's just like we said at the beginning. Look at Kieran and T-Bag. Yeah. Up six, six and seven position. Yeah, no, six positions. Yeah. Yeah, oh, definitely. Fun. And you know, also one of the ones we tipped for the wet. Uh, unfortunately, dropping down. As we have gone green again now, we have started racing. The VSC is ended. I'd expect to see a couple of guys in the pits here. Yeah, Dylan yeah, and also both in. Also, yeah. Mechanical looks like he's got a decent getaway there. Got in, uh, just building a bit of a gap now to Taylor. As Gainful's making a move on Bark up into turn three. And he has got that move done. Jackie's managed to get past Bark as Ooh. well there. Also give, uh, not also, T-Bag gives a little love kiss at the back of Kane. And Jackie's now managed to get up the inside of Gameful as well. And that's Cal Trim getting up there as well. So Gameful just losing two positions there on the exit of turn four. Taylor now, he, he is gaining on Mechanical and he, he's pushing. He's got that gap down to, to almost a quarter of a second. They've got one and a half seconds to the gap to P3. Will Taylor I'm make a move? With here. Yeah, Taylor not really using ERS there as well. He has got more ERS than Mechanical, but seems to be gaining on him. Whether whether he's set up more for this wet race. Uh, potentially running a higher downforce, maybe. ERS does drain here really, really quick, but in dry conditions though. I'm just on board with Jampo, he's on 50% already. Whilst a yeah. lot of people out there are still around 90s. Yeah, well, Mechanical's at 65 and Taylor Danny's at 90. Uh, Jackie's at 62. He has bridged a uh, one and a half second gap to Taylor, to be honest, though. Um, but this is the sector where Taylor's quickest. Or oh, he was on the last lap. Oh, Matey Boy's right on the back of Murph back. Less than two tenths. Yeah, it's going up now. Yeah, it's a diff difficult track. We've only only set really all the taking places, but that that's never stopped here three before. They'll always try and send it. We're only on a fourth lap. Give it time. As we start <laughs> get, getting towards the end. As uh, Andy, Andy says, it feels feel, feel strange watching tier three. Uh, I'm surprised you weren't watching it on the big screen as you were driving around in acres of space at the front last season. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had his battles with blue, didn't he? So. As uh, Bab, Bab's it. checked in as well, cheering on Team Aston. Yeah. Oh, wait. Team Bag is still behind Kane. Yeah, everyone's just sort of staying where they are, maybe taking a couple of laps just to, you know, gather the senses, get used to the track conditions. I'm sure towards the end it'll be a bit more chaotic. Yeah. This is the thing though, obviously we've introduced sprint races again, as in like, we again we're talking about it, but you really want to push and get that one extra position where we're only providing points to top five or... Whether you don't want to risk it as much and, and leave yourself vulnerable with starting right at the back of the feature race, so yeah. This game pops in 113.6 fastest lap on the track so far. It's it's exactly that. Not not just in terms of the points, but you've also got to look at it Jam who's Pot's confident. Making a move on Bark? No, he's just back out, sorry. Who's who's point. confident on the uh, the race starts? Um if you, you, you feel you're going to get a good race start, then maybe it's not pushing for that extra position because you'll take it off the start of the feature race. So if you know that maybe you struggle on starts, then an extra position here on the quality, on the grid for the feature will probably help you more. Uh, 
Uh, very close at the front now. Now we've got this uh, five-way battle mechanic all down to game full, all within a second of each other. Uh, Taylor Danny's going. It looks like he's going up the inside. Oh, he tried. As T-Bag makes a move on Kane, penultimate corner. He's got. Oh, and he backs out. But they're still going wheel to wheel. Oh, saved himself there. And then he lost the rear. Kane's still in P12. But Kieran's coming now. Kieran's coming on T-Bag. Into turn one. Ah, he backed out. Thought of it. Yeah, we had, it were very similar with uh, with Taylor Danny there. Taylor trying to dive up the inside, the mechanical in the penultimate corner and uh, backing out. But it looks like Jackie has managed to take him into turn three. And Carl's took him as well. Is Gameful going to make a move? Oh, no. Look like he were almost trying to go around the outside there oh, at turn four. Kieran does, does pass T bag in turn four. Long before. Oh, Dimster's arriving. Uh, Jam Pot right on the back of Bark now. Now, Jam Pot will probably be a little disappointed with his start. Uh, he, I don't know whether he got bogged down, just, just wheel spin or what, but he, he seemed to go backwards right off the race start. He's down four positions as well. Yeah. <coughs> I'm just looking at positions gaining Kieran is with the most seven data drives so far. Yeah, definitely assisted by a couple of incidents Chris is, ahead. But... Chris has got to make a move on Jam Pot or is he not? No. But yeah, Jackie up five positions as well into P2. Yeah. Now Jackie was one last season who we saw his name pops up in quality he can throw in a blinding lap out of nowhere, but then when it came to the race he lacked the consistency. So it's nice to see him up there in you know tricky conditions here in the sprint race. Gonna still in two bag battling over two and four. Still five laps to go, but something seems like some, something tells me that he might not enjoy me. Although he's had quite a lot of positions at the start, Kieran has just gotten away from him. Yeah, Kieran looks like he's pushing him to try and gain on uh, Kieran Lowry. Uh, Kieran is Lowry. rinsing his ERS, though, yeah. Yeah, Nerf Pack yeah. left uh, plenty yeah. of space there into turn one. Terry did have the move done, but he, he, he was a little bit earlier on a break from Nerf Pack. Yeah, Terry is out of ERS as well, as uh, it looks like move. Matey Boy's made, yeah. made a move on Chris into turn three. Gain Fool's making a move on Taylor Danny, yeah. Up oh, the Alpine. Nice. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what he can do with the gap in front, whether he can uh, he can close it down. As I said, Gameful is one who tends to do well in the wet. Um, On the last lap, when we were talking about Jackie, it was 1.2 seconds behind Colin. I wonder if he's going to make a move for it. Just under half a second now. Yeah, not too different in levels of VRS as well, about 15% splitting them. Yeah. So let's see, we're on board with Jackie now, he's got the ERS on, on this run down to turn one. Gameful takes the fastest lap. Collins has got a little bit of a better exit out to turn one man. Uh, he's had a fairly, <laughs> fairly solid race there Colin, um, you know getting the lead on, on that first lap yeah. and he's just, he's held his own since. Carl's looking very interested in uh, and making a move on Jackie here, so let's see what happens into turn four. No, Carl backed out of that. Was also the fastest lap. lap. He did also pick up a three-second penalty for track limits not long before that. 
Taylor seems to have just dropped off the pace of these guys at the front now as well. He's got 1.2 seconds to uh, gain full ahead. Uh, Kieran's just... dropping down. Kieran's he, he swapped positions with Kane Lowry and then he's dropped behind T-Bag, so I'm not sure if they're yeah. going to come in together, though. I'm just on board with Jampot going into penultimate corners, wheel to wheel with Barkland. I'm going to watch it from Matey's boy view because he's right on the back of this. As he, oh, he's got nowhere to go. He has made a move on Jampot though. Nice clean overtake from Matey boy. Puts him into P7 now. Yeah, Matey taking on, advantage though. And uh, Chris as well. Chris <laughs> has got jam pot on the run up to turn three. Yep. So jam trying to make a move on oh, back oh, there, oh, and it's oh, ended up costing Chris, him. Chris oh, just overshot his break. He's took matey boy. And yeah. Jam pot oh, so unfortunate. And that's caused a bit of bit of chaos behind. Now a lot of cars in very close proximity. There look like there are a few cars that bumped there. Yeah. This is exactly what we're talking about. It's a sprint race, you know. Do you really want to be going for yeah, this, an overtake this, this, just for that one position, you know? From the cinematic view here, yeah, you, you've got yeah. like five you've got cars. Five cars, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, this is crazy, Bill. Three. Oh, nerf pack just span. Yeah, this is. Yeah, uh, it's not looking like the cleanest racing. Now. Yeah, it's not looking like the cleanest racing we've seen. Um. No. That's Chris way down there at the back with no front wing. And in all this, Carl's took Jackie and we didn't even see it. But your front four, well, front five still very close. Now, Taylor has closed that gap to these guys in front. Yep. I'm just on board with Gainful. He's right on the back of Jackie now. Uh, Carl, quarter of a second behind Mechanical, but not close enough to make a move into turn four there. Similar ERS as well on... Oh, game for one, 50% though. Has he left it for a late move on the last lap? Well, that's it, two laps to go. As you say, is it worth risking everything for, you know, potential position or two, an extra point or two? extra point can help you out on the last last race day so can't it as we've De seen definitely tier one by one you. point yeah tier one <laughs> tier one being one by one point sociopath uh one point more than cameron Poulter. cameron Poulter did actually hold the fastest lap that race until it was taken off him on the last lap of the race yeah so it, insanely close in tier one last season oh i'm gonna stick on board with gameful now as he has the most drs he's Closing up on Jackie into turn three. No, oh, he's backed out. Thought of it more. Oh, oh, oh. They're coming very close. Little off tap. He did give him a little off tap. Yeah, Jackie got very close to the back of Carl during that move as well. Uh, Carl looks like he's making Game a move field. on Mechanical. He's going up the inside into turn four. He's not. He's backed Game out. Field. Oh, oh no. Jackie. They've turned in on each other into turn four. So unfortunate. That was so close as well. The move was nearly done. Yeah, game full dropping down two positions yeah. there. I'm going to stick on board with Mater Boys and go wheel to wheel through that sector. And he does make the move. Go on, Hass Boy. Nothing bad further here. Oh, game full going back making... oh, oh, no, man. he's backed out. I think that's where that bit kicked in. Is it worth it? You know, yeah. last lap, it's only a sprint race. But wow, big shout out to Kieran for nine positions and Matey Boy for eight. Teabag up seven as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah big shout out to your top loose. three as well. Your top three mechanical yeah. taking uh, taking the lead in the first couple of corners, up three positions. Uh, Carl up four, it. Jackie up four as well. Uh, good, like I say, good to see Jackie up there and actually fighting for the lead of the race after what's been a difficult couple of seasons, uh, lacking consistency. But nice to see him get it together for a race. And 
Oh, I need to get the timings first before I disappear. Less than a second separating the top three. Yeah, insanely close. These tricky conditions, and as I say, Austria being a smaller track always always brings close races. Um, as driver of the day for the sprint race. Also says his last lap was one thousand slower than his uh, his fastest. I've just confirmed the results. I will be back before the race start. don't think we had Clay saying going through the standings again so we got Colin in P1, Carl Trim in P2 and Jackie in P3, Taylor Danny, Barkman Do, Matey Boy, Gainful Odds, Jampot, Terriers, Kane Lowry in the top 10, followed by Kieran starting in P11, Teabag in P12, King Luckman P13, Webb Stappen P14, um, Dimster P15, Nerf Pack P16, Saki 17th, Dylan P18, Osoboso P19, and Chris in P20. session. And I'm back. These conditions definitely look a lot better. Correct, they do. I've just invited Teabag as he, uh, he said he's left a left a session, and I've gone through the standings because you did say you would do it, but I think you forgot and ran off. No, I, I waited for the standings first, and then I disappeared. Um, so we did see them. Oh, I thought you meant going through them again for anybody who's missed it, but I've gone through them. Don't worry. Oh, perfect. I no got problem. you. I, I meant more for the. Uh, so we've got the timings for any potential penalties etc stewards stewards wise and final standings um everything goes against kieran doesn't it <laughs> i don't think he needs us against him uh i think he's, a, <laughs> I think he's against himself most weeks so we got teabag back in now he's joined back i wonder in. if he can pick up a setup really quick 
or does it save the setup from the sprint race? Setup should already be saved, um, but it will just be race strategy, tyres and uh, fuel. Oh yeah. Uh, just have a quick check now of what tyres everyone's starting on. Uh, so your top nine all starting on the mediums. Ken Lowry starting on hards. Kieran T-Bag Luckman on the mediums. Wab Stappen on the hards. Dimster Nuffpack medium. Saki hards. Dylan medium. And also Chris on the hards as well. Did your feature race on Friday start in wet conditions right away or was it dry uh yeah anyway. feature feature was wet to start uh, sorry no uh play it was only two days ago no it no no <laughs> it it started dry and went wet i believe and it got wet yeah yeah it did it did i decided to start on the hard tires instead of the mediums because the rain was expected around lap lap 20 I uh, just thought it was a safer option instead of having to pit again. Um, just to start on the hards, drag it out. Yeah. Would I'm you start on hards if it was a dry race though? Or would you go for a different strategy? Uh, my plan was medium hard just because we tend to see safety cars here and I'd say 90% of the time the safety car tends to benefit the medium runners. Uh, if you're on the hards and you know that safety car comes out around lap lap 12, 14, you, it's played into the hands of all the medium runners. So it's it's a risky one. It's it's tough, but I think medium hard is the the safer safer strategy. I do think hard medium's the fastest. the race start I think I'll stick on board with Kieran because he's right in the middle of it all and I'll use the um, not the on board cam just to see what's happening at the back as well is that game full again he's got his car pointing to the inside Carl Trim is pointing to the inside as well uh, I'm not too what sure seen. what's going on here there's uh, there's an Aston Martin well out of position is that with Kane Lowry T-Bag disqualified what happened there uh, I'm not too sure. I wonder if we had the same thing happen to him as... Ah, right, we'll talk about it later. We're away for the feature race. Um, I don't know if I'm going mad, but... Oh, right, yeah, I'm going mad. Never mind, ignore me. Uh, clean, get away from the guys at the front. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, just on board with Kieran and everything around him seems clean as well. Gameful's got Terriers and Jampot very... Oh, Terriers is just... Oh, there's yeah. some wings flying. Oh, someone yeah. just hit the back of Kieran. Terriers just yeah, that was nurse pack. flew into the back of Gameful. Saki spinning. Someone must have out... Oh, Gameful and P18. And Carl's, Carl's, Carl's took mechanical. Up. Carl's took mechanical into to P4. I'm not too sure what happened there. Terriers, it, it looked like he break late, slammed straight into the back of Gameful and launched him straight off at turn three. Oh, Kane and Luckman have a little come together. Oh. Well, stewards thought they were busy after tiers one and two. I think we're going to have a fair few to deal with after this as well. Um, but yeah, brilliant start oh. there from Carl. Kieran just really had a come, come in together with Dylan. Dylan did go in the pits, but yeah. I don't know how Terriers hasn't got any wing damage, if I'm honest. He, he, I don't um, think it was him. No, it, it definitely was. He's missing his end plate on his front left wing, but he, he slammed into the back of Gameful. Uh, the braking zone of turn three. I'm not sure how he's he's still got a wing, if I'm honest. Uh, I didn't see what happened behind that. I was actually on board with Gameful looking backwards. But Kieran now up to P9, also P10 as well. This was definitely more erratic of a start than you'd expect, considering in wet conditions where it was rather clean. Yeah, Lab definitely. Stopping off track in a gravel. Definitely. Also up nine positions so far up to P10. The 
fan base is coming out now. It's all over the back of Kieran as well. Not sure how much though, it says plus one minute for me, so. Yeah, it's about three temps at the minute. Yeah, go, going back to Teabag, I think he had what happened to me in Mexico because he got kicked from the lobby. He joined, he couldn't um, take his car. Right, right. So it disqualified him. Right, that's a shame, right, that's right. unfortunate. King Bluffman picks up a three second penalty. Against us, just span coming out of turn one. Right, now we've got DRS. Let's see what happens. As we do seem to have a bit of a DRS train from first to sixth. You do see this around Australia, don't you? Yeah, definitely. It's one of them um, corners like turn one, turn three, and I'd probably. Oh, jam pot just spun. Oh, jam spun. Oh, and he was right on the back of Mater Boy as well, so unfortunate. Yeah, I was just about to say turns one, three, and nine probably suck you into a move but the exit are so tight you, you can't yeah. get it done though matey boys all over the back of jackie with a drs as well yeah dylan and mechanical all over the back of carl as well now let's see what happens on the run down to turn three drs open for mechanical and taylor and it looks like that's a ferrari crashed at the entrance to the pits Colin and Carl wheel to wheel. Colin's got that extra extra spurt of DRS down this straight here up to turn four. Colin taking the lead back there from Carl. He but has Co burnt through his ERS though. That is exactly what I was just about to say. Colin has Burn. rinsed that ERS, whereas Carl's been holding on to his, still got 70%. Yeah. And it's like I said, it's so difficult to get it back around this track. very difficult free DRS's you know you want to have that DRS to defend against well that's that's it I think Carl's been clever knowing how early it is in the race it's not worth mm. rinsing his ERS to try and defend when the guys behind had DRS but let's see what happens now because he's got Taylor hassling him as well as Chris picks up the three, three second time penalty and Luckman's into the pits also the fastest lap, 108.5. Also up 11 positions into P8 as uh, Matey Boy and Jackie are side by side up to turn three. Looks like Matey's got that move done. He is wide a bit on the exit there. Has Jackie got the cut back? No, he's not. Matey's keeping that position. Is Carl going to make a move on the inside of turn four? No, he pulls in behind. And that's it, Carl, knowing his ERS is, you know, he's, he's in a good position with his ERS. Will he just sit behind Mechanical, use him for DRS while he can he can stay within it? Uh, who's that dropping down the order? We've got Wab dropping down, Wab's off track, turn four. And Taylor's just took Carl. I think that was on the run to turn nine. No, it was just through the penultimate corner then. Oh, so it was through turn nine, right? Uh, Terry is into the pit. He will have wing damage, I believe. Taylor's, Taylor's all over the back of Mechanical here. They have the exact same amount of ERS as well. Yeah, crazy race start. Looks to be calming down a little bit now. Uh, yeah. Now as we're getting that bit of field spread, but also up 12 positions to P7. Kieran up five positions to P6. Brilliant starts by them. Chris up eight into P12, but he does have a penalty. But Taylor is all over the back of Mechanical. Is he going to make a move here where he got Carl last lap? No, he's too far back. Too far back, but with the RS coming up. does get a better exit he's hassling him he's not letting him breathe yeah 
everybody else seems to have spread out nicely now apart from well the top yeah your top five jack is very five, yeah. close to matey yep uh, i'll just have a quick check of penalties if we've seen a few pop up so you've got Chris and Wab on three seconds, Dylan's got three, Terriers has got five, and Luckman has got six. You don't want too many of them on this track again, because they're just so short. Definitely not, just saw a flash of a yellow flag, but I'm not too sure what it was from, mate. It looks like it were a turn three incident, but it is cleared away, maybe a slow car. But Taylor's looking really good here all over the back of Mechanical, sticking with him and, yeah. you know, fr through that sector two and three, he looks a lot faster than him. Mm. He gets a better exit out of turn one, though. But he gives him a little push as well, gives Colin a little push, so... Thing is, though, where do you actually make the move? Oh, he does go... Oh, oh, that was a late move. It looked like it. it caught but his Carl wing a bit, benefit. though. Carl did benefit from it, though. Yeah, unfortunate that for Taylor. It looked like he, he was half committing to the move and uh, it looked like his, his his end plate of his wings started vibrating. So I think there was yeah. a little bit of contact there with Mechanical, which, it, as you say, benefited Carl. Carl picking up the pieces. I'd say there. it benefited Colin a little bit more as well because it gives him a breather. He's just, just under the DRS. Oh, he's just out of it now. This is going to definitely help Colin. But it was just like I was saying, where do you pick the move? Where do you go for it? Gainful picks up a three second penalty as well. And Chris, three seconds as well. Yeah, disappointing start to the race for the Alpine lads there. Um, Dylan is up three places, but he does have penalties. Uh, Jackie's mm -hmm. just picked up a penalty and he's dropping down the order. Jackie spun at turn one. Well, that pushes Kieran into P5 now. Brilliant drive from Kieran again. Oh, and Jackie's, Jackie's just clipped the back of Bartman do as well and spun him at turn oh. three. Yeah, I was just, just jumping on board with that as well. Yeah, so when it rains, it pours. Uh, bad, bad, bad feature race here for Jackie. Um, he looked like, I'm not sure if he cut the inside of turn one, picked up a three second penalty span, and then a collision at turn three with Bark as well, spinning Bark out. Yeah. Would it, would it be part of that consistency you were talking about? It is. Again, this I've is, not been this around, is the, so. I've yeah, not, this not is the thing. Jack, Jackie's one who's, he's one lap pace, he's, he's brilliant. You know, he's up there, he's definitely a contender in, in qualifying, and then when it comes to the race, little things like that, you know, picking up a three second penalty a spin at the same time and then having a bump uh, he always seems to be in and around incidents and it's it's unfortunate because not all of them are his fault um, he just seems to always have bad luck uh, but we still now have a top five DRS trainers Kieran's managed to catch yeah. up to, to matey boy and Carl's cut down half a second on, on Colin yeah, ve very and close here that still. that ERS as well. He's still not using as much. It's very clever from Carl. Jump on board with Jam Potters. He's on the back of Kane. I'm just staying on board with this top five battle at the moment with them all being so close. So when Jackie had that spin and the uh, the bump with back, Kane Larry was just behind as well and Kane Larry had to slam on so he's lost a lot of time as well. Carl's still in a healthy eight. position with his ERS. 
Sosuke and Lowry have just jumped on board to see how how likely is it for Jam to overtake him. But Carl is on a hard tyre though. Need to know. And they are going wheel to wheel now. Oh, this is going to be brilliant going to turn four. He has made the move, Jam Pot. Nice one. Got the overhead but, camera shot of that as well. Yeah, the race is long. Kane is on hards. He's got plenty of ERS. I'm sure does Battle 8 finish yet. Well, that's that's it. You, you just mentioned the hard tyre then, so I just flicked onto the tyres to look, and your top five are all on mediums. So they they you've got probably got three laps max left before they pit. Also, awesome Bosso is the first one on hards. Also's on hards. Oh, Kieran's oh, just spun. Oh, Kieran's spun. One. Don't think it's the Alfa Romeo tactic because Jackie spun there as well, didn't he? <laughs> um, oh, but so yeah, this is for Kieran now. As we were saying about uh, yeah. strategies before, and a safety car now plays completely into the medium runners. And it, it, it'll completely screw Osso, Ken Lowry, Chris, Saki, everyone who's on the hard. Um, so these these lads will be open to get through the first round of pit stops for the medium runners before there's a safety car. I think, if I'm honest, a... I think we're quite lucky not to have seen one yet. We had a VSC at the start, did we not? That was the sprint oh, was race. Sprint race. Yeah, that was the sprint yeah. race. Yeah. Considering how much more chaotic this race has been. Yeah. I'm surprised not to see it. Yeah, that's what I mean. We've been Mate quite lucky not to see one. Less than two tenths. See, Taylor and Mechanical, it appears, have been uh, building the ERS up a bit for a few laps. Uh, they're a lot closer to Carl now. Uh, about 10% splitting them. Yeah, as King Luckman picks up three times. Yeah, three second time penalty. I think you might be right. I think that's his third one. Have a quick check. Consciously. Oh, actually, it's his fourth. He's got 12 seconds worth of penalties. Oh, wow. You don't want so much around this track, like I said. Each sector is, you know, what, 25 seconds long, maybe? Not even that. The whole lap is, what, 1.8? 1, 1 minute 8? Yeah. It literally puts you down almost a sector behind. Definitely. But going back to the strategies, as you said, it, I see what you're saying, but on the other hand, it only plays into their hands if there's no more safety cars. Like, if a safety car came out now, then yeah, it does make sense. But if a late one afterwards comes through and also gets a free pit stop going on to the mediums, he's going to be on a faster tyre gonna have track position yeah yeah that, that's that's exactly what i'm saying though is if the for for Rosso, he needs the the cars to spread out as much as possible with him being on the harder tire yeah if there's a safety car no the medium runners are all pit for a set of hard and they need to go to the end then and also the, the field completely closes back up so by time also pits the field's not that spread out and he will end up losing positions which is what i mean about it playing into the medium runner's hands but we've not seen a safety car yet and if i'm honest the way it's going i don't think we will see one so this this could bring us all fairly into the fight here i don't know i think it's going to bring out a little bit more excitement if i'll be on the other side of the coin but those three ahead the top three top four in fact i don't want to i don't want to jinx it but as the race progresses, they're going to get more aggressive. They're going yeah, to have to. Definitely, but I'm seeing, I've just noticed now this lap, the time to Oslo has come down by about three tenths, four tenths. Yeah, it's, that's that's the mediums dying off. Exactly. So the, the, the front four are getting to a point where they're going to have to pit. Thing is, though, who pits out those top four first? Who shoots? Who stays? As Blue just said in a, in a chat as well, Matey's not really attacking or anything. He's just waiting for a mistake. Well, that's it. He doesn't. It he doesn't really need to. What's his ER? Oh, actually, he's using a lot of ERS. I think he's got the least of everyone ahead. So, is he doing that just to try and stick on the? Actually, it's 
I don't know if you're trying to... Unless he's going into the pits now. Unless he's going to be the first one to fire for the pits and he wants to get as close as possible. Yeah, go for an undercut, maybe. Oh, he doesn't seem like he is. Or maybe... Oh, he's just... No, he's... he's just took a bit of too much of a curb and he's gotten out of... D oh, no, he's still got DRS, but... I don't think that will help him, that DRS ahead. DRS train. No, that's it. He won't have DRS down turns. Yeah, down on the run to turn three or no, two and turns. And he hasn't got DRS to get back into it as well, so yeah. Oh, actually, he is, he is back in it. Even though he's no DRS, he, did he manage to get in it in the detection zone? I'm no, not sure. He didn't, he didn't have it. He didn't have it. And Kieran, it. Kieran's pitted. Jampot's pitted. So they're the first to pull the trigger from the mediums. Let's see where they come out. Looks like there's a squabble of cars coming here. Kieran will want to get out just behind Saki. He won't want to be caught behind any of the cars behind. And he has done. It's just Saki ahead of him. Good work there from Kieran on that pit stop. Uh, Jam, where's Jam come out? 16. Ooh. He's got Wab very close behind. Kieran's late on brakes, trying not to hit the back of Saki there. Oh. We've got a Ferrari into the pits. We've got Mechanical into the pits. Yeah. And, and Mate. As well. So Taylor Danny's staying out. So Taylor has got that squirt of DRS down that first straight. Is he going to use a lot of VRS? Maybe try and do the overcut here? Bossa Bossa and P2 now. I will, positions. I will say, every, anyone who's watching, any anyone from the Ozone, get ready to screenshot it, because once Taylor pits... Also, will be in P1. But that gap from Taylor to Osso has been coming down lap on lap now. Uh, not as quick as I thought it would. Only a couple of attempts this last, last lap and a half. But Mechanicals managed to get back out in P3. Kieran has made a move on Saki before turn three as well, so I don't know, but for me Saki's lagging all over the screen here. I'm not sure if you've got the same. Uh, Taylor's into the pits. Apologies. Uh, Taylor is into oh. the pits. Yeah, I, the I've seen a couple of connection issues. Also. So as he passes that start finish line, he will be in P1. And there we go. Also is in P1. Well, End the race can now. Stop the stream now. That's, that's <laughs> what needed to happen happened. No, we're done. That's exactly how it works. Uh, let's see where Danny Taylor comes out. out. Yeah. Does he get out in front of Colin? I think. I he think will. he does. Yeah, he does. But he will have colder tyres and getting temperature into those hards is going to be difficult. So the the overcut there has worked for Taylor. Um, wow. Well, yeah. Used a fair bit of VRS though. Will that Colin has got DRS as well this run? He didn't have it on the run into turn three, but he has got it on the run to turn four. Uh, a lot of cars dropping down the order there. So Chris dropped down. Look like Jampot dropped down as well. Uh, do you know roughly how long a pit stop is here in the dry? Um, I was going to ask you the same. I want to say just over 20 seconds. Yeah, I was going to say 21. Um, 21 is what was in my head, but I don't know if, hold on. if I'm right. Osho was about four seconds behind Taylor when he pitted. So that's say it's around six, 16, 17. Yeah, plus getting out. Colin oh, Colin, Taylor. Colin's making a move up the inside of turn three. Just, uh, and he's got DRS as well. And we've got Nerf pack off at turn one. A lot of cars passing him. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to see a safety car. Stop, stop the racing season. Also P1. Gray. <laughs> <laughs> this is it now a safety car in the well how many laps are left 17 I'd say a safety car in the next 5 laps 
plays right into Oslo's hands. He'll be on the faster tyre and he'll be in a higher position than he, he was before. Uh, yeah. Matey boy, after that first round of pit stops, he's ended up uh, four and a half seconds behind Carl now, considering he was on the back of him. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. He was behind Kay Lowry for a bit. Yeah, he Most was. everybody else was ahead of him, so maybe he just held him there. I'm curious to see when Taylor makes the move on Colin because I don't think he'll like the fact he lost the position to him. Oh, he's just he's just tapped the back of Colin in the spanning. Yeah, oh. turn three. I was on board for that. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sure I said this again, but it once again benefits Carl, whatever happens in that two and three. Yeah, Carl. Carl's taken both both of them there up to. Uh, he's a, he is a net net P one now because also still has to pit. What do you reckon? Also going for the mediums, or is he stretching these out and going for softs? Um, I think at the moment he'll be he'll be debating just just holding out and hoping for a safety or car. Just, or does he just not pit and does he just finish his P one on track? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if I'm honest, I think he'll, he's getting to that point now where he'll be looking, to, you know, wondering whether or not he just waits to see if a safety car comes. Field's quite spread. I, the likelihood of a safety car, I, I, I don't think there's much chance of one, to be honest. If there is gonna, ha if there is gonna be a safety car, it's gonna be from the front front runners. As the ra again, as the race progresses. They'll want to get back up there. I'm sure Colin, Colin will be screaming now, trying to get as close as possible. Oh, Lutman's retired. retired. He's crashed oh, out entrance to the pit lane. It's a full be, safety you, car. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is this is Osso's. It's played into Osso's hands massively. He's going to be on the faster tire for the rest of the race. That's why you start on hards. <laughs> And that's that's it. This is oh, ooh. I thought. It, oh wow, that car was not ghosted for a second there. <laughs> that would have been so unfortunate if he just went into him. Oh god. Yeah, that was scary. <laughs> that was scary. Um, but what we were saying is uh, most of the races, me and, me and Dan that, saw everybody during... in the chat just had a heart stop there. Yeah. Also, he's not going to come out in front of these guys, but he is going to be like you said on a faster tire. Where does he come out? I think he just comes out in front of Matey Boy. Ahead of Matey, yeah. Yeah. So up in P4, on the faster tyre, as you say. So it's, this is going to be very interesting to see. Could also take a podium here. Um, I think he'll I be think open he to. I think he will. And Again, where did he start as anything, well? But he's well, up he 15, 15 positions. He started P19. Medium start falling off around lap 15, 16, and there's only 14 left, and a couple of them are probably behind the safety car. This is, you're asking if he's going to take a podium. I think he's going to take a race win here. Oh, very brave, very bold. I, I, I can tell you've not done yeah, comms. I can tell you've you not done comms be. watching tier three much. <laughs> well, yeah, oh. but I've been a steward for a while, so. Also, also <laughs> is the man I've seen have a blinding race and then run out of fuel with a lap to go. Um, I've is, seen him leading a race yeah. and then crash out. Uh, he, he's that's the man old. of disappointment. Yeah, that's... that's <laughs> now, I, I, I strongly believe in him. Uh, if he doesn't win here, I'm not I'm not commenting. I'm not, I'm not on comms anymore. <laughs> if Let's it were that easy, way. I'd have said that a few seasons ago, mate. <laughs> But Kieran, after his spin as well, Jackie after his spin, back up now, P6, P7, close back up on the gap, in, uh, the guys in front, so I think they're back in contention of a decent result, uh, Jampot as well, up to P8, um, he'll be hoping to make a few positions, it'll help, game full, uh, Dylan, Chris, the lads who were involved in early accidents, but I don't expect to see them up at the top end, if I'm honest. We haven't mentioned as well, but that safety car has benefited King Lowry as well. He is also on 
a brand new set of mediums. He's only in P11, and again, with everything, with, you know, the safety car restarts, and again, going back to the fact that Austria is a, is a tight track, he's bound to pick up some positions. Yeah, definitely. Safety car restarts here are a very tricky one because you, a message pops up to say, get ready to race or whatever, get ready to go at yeah. the penultimate corner and everyone seems to gun it thinking that we're going and we're not live yet and then when you come round turn nine you've got slow moving cars in front and you end up slamming yeah, on and i uh i i know that perfectly i was at the end of it last season in tier two yeah got well yeah and all of it <laughs> <laughs> that so, that yeah. was a bit chaotic because that was that was like a big lag thing as well like that was a really strange no, no, one no no there, there was no lag no everyone and start to <laughs> Don't blame the connection here. No, it, I'm surprised that's... about Wabstappen and Dylan though. They're on soft. Just, I don't think they're going to be taking them to the end. But it's, no, uh, it's too much to ask. Strange. It is too much to ask. Well, Twel the Twelve laps. Will be coming in next lap. Twelve laps on a set of softs. I think the softs, if I'm honest, they're dead after six laps. How many times have they pitted? Uh, yeah, well, Dylan had three stops though, so it's understandable. Webstappen had three. There's only so many times you can put those tyres on. But 12 seconds is not going to help him a lot. No, definitely not. Uh, Carl, no, I'm Carl will be open hmm. for a clean getaway here. Uh, Taylor, obviously, a lot fresher, hard tyres. Been putting a lot of pressure on Mechanical and unfortunately did cause Mechanical to spin. Um, yeah. Carl will want to be avoiding that, especially with also on the fresh tyres behind. And that is exactly why I believe Osso is going to win here. I mean, people in the chat are saying that you know you can do Osso. Think about the bet. So I don't think it's just a case of him taking a win here. I think there's a bet. Going just on. yeah, just before it's we start, <laughs> the safety car is in this lap. But Stingray, please let us know what the bet is. Yeah. If it's not fit for the stream, uh, DM me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carl's, uh, Carl's just back in the pack up now. Safety car in this lap message has mm. popped up. So he will be slowing them all up now. I will stay on board with Osso for this. He, he just has to keep it clean. Stay behind the guys ahead because they will be making mistakes again as the race progresses. Yeah, Stingray's just said it's, uh, it's a secret between Osso and us, so... Yeah, for that, I hope he doesn't win. Uh, and Carl's, and Carl's gone. gone. Carl's gone. He's, He's got gone. a brilliant yeah. start, though. He's caught, caught Taylor sleeping. Mechanicals Colin all is, over the back of yeah. Taylor and also yeah. is as well. Something's gone wrong with Taylor. I wonder if he, I wonder if Taylor's just given a position back to Colin. I wonder if that's what it was. He might have been giving him a position back you know, for the spin. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It, it looked like he just got a bad start, like to it. be honest. No, because he was slowing down and... Like, also obviously capitalised on it. I wonder if that, that's what it was. He might have been giving him the position back. But yeah, Carl, Carl's benefited massively from that, the two second yeah, gap already. Wow, no way. Uh, Kieran's dropped down as well, P13. Yeah. yeah, I was just about to say as well. But... And Jackie, Jackie as well has ended up at the back. Is that a coming together Wasn't between the, the Alfa Romeo drivers? No, I think, no I, I'm I sure Jackie was just. Back. I'm sure Jackie was just behind Kieran. Kieran, three second time penalty. Yeah, Terry he was wide there between six somewhere. and seven. There is a yellow flag. Oh no, Osso's just picked up the time penalty. <sighs> Typical Osso. Oh, that's it. I'm. That's. I'm done. That's, that's, this is the last time I'm doing this. Sorry, that's, guys. Typical or so. As Nerf Pack's got jam pot into turn one. Colin has cut that two second gap into 1.7 now though. Terry is into the pits. Bark's got Ken Larry. Ken Larry's fighting back on the exit of turn three, but that's helped Wab Stappen. He's got a better run on both of them. And on the soft tyres as well. Is he going to make a move on Kane into turn four? Oh no, he's, he's just too far behind. behind. Him. He's got Bark right on the back. And Dylan's right on a gearbox of Bark on his own. On a soft too. 
They have to go for it now, don't they? You know, they've got the soft tyre. They have to go for it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I don't, but I don't please. think the soft's going to last, yeah. but they've got to throw absolutely everything at this yeah, now. Jampot moved there. across. Oh, the... no, as well. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, Jampot moved across in front of Kane Lowry. He made his intention to go into the pits early. He moved well to the right, and it looks like they all just piled up at that the, the, the apex of the corner. If I'm honest, I don't think Jampot did anything wrong. We ask everyone to make your intention clear. Stare yeah. to the right of the track if you're going for the pits, which he did. I think it was just the fact that there were so many cars around each other. Yeah, you know? definitely. Definitely. It's a tricky time. Um, unfortunately, well, that has put Jampot down to P17. Kieran's back up to P9. Whatever was a secret between Osso and his fan base, you know, the bets off classic, you know, that's it, so... Oh, safety oh, car, full safety car. Oh, wow. Jackie's out at turn three. Oh, wow. No, this gives Osso a chance to reset and go again. But the three seconds is going to hurt him so bad. The three seconds will, but still on the fresher tyres. This this should help, you know, drag them tyres out a bit longer as well. The mediums would have probably been close at the end to 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 the 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 cliff falling off the cliff. So they, this. Oh god. I was going to say this will help extend them a little bit. Wab and Dylan into the pits, Kieran into the pits, Saki into the pits. But it's also helping extend the hard tyres, though. Don't forget that. No, 100%, 100%. But the medium, from what I did in practice, the medium is a much faster tyre. It's a much better tyre to be on. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Oh, uh, 11 laps. I mean, I started here in dry conditions on Friday on hards, and they only started kicking in around lap 18 for me. And I think this takes us towards the last lap of this race as well so if it's going to kick in for the guys on hards i don't think it will benefit also as much as we think yeah well that's it also is going to have done what 14 laps on his and you're talking probably six laps of those under a safety car so then mediums he should be able to just attack for the last the last few laps however many laps we get probably the last five laps six laps Game falls back up to P7 as well after, uh, sorry, P10, seven laps on his mediums after uh, a lot of guys behind him pitting, but they're all on fresh softs behind him. <laughs> and Kieran's back into the pits. He's put fresh softs oh, on, he's yeah. back into the pits. He's, he had, I don't think he's, it looks like he's got no wing. I'm going to stay on board with him and see if they're replacing it for him. Oh, he's got no, a wing on got, my screen. Oh, oh no, they have got a wing replacement ready for him. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe they didn't change his wing that's on his last pit stop, so he's gone in to do it again and change his wing. But that's going to hinder him, isn't it? No, yeah, not. massively. Massively. Is it... I don't know how you guys do this here, but is it too early to start potentially discussing driver of the day, or not quite yet? see what happens after the race, race yeah the it's, it, we'd normally start looking last uh, three laps or so um if i were looking at it right now i'd say you've got osso definitely in there uh up 15 positions brilliant result for osso um that three second penalty as you say is gonna is gonna cost him as they stand at the moment depending on how the restart goes it could play into his favor he could be clear um Safety car in this lap message just come up, so yeah. I'll move up towards the leaders. I'll stick on board with. I'll stick on board with Jack. Jump up. He's the second with the fresh softs, and obviously they're all going to be gunning for gainful now. I really want to be gainful and trying to defend against all these guys now. Yeah, definitely. It, it gainful's on the mediums. Am I right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, all these guys on fresh softs. I think there's seven, eight laps, and Carl has gone. 
Uh, Mechanical was wise to it as well. He's not letting him get away like Taylor did on the first safety car restart. Um, yeah, pushing now eight and a half tenths between them. Taylor just over a second behind Osso pushing up to catch Taylor. Made the boy has kept himself clean here. We haven't spoke about him quite a lot, but he's still in that top five and obviously with Osso's penalty that's gonna push him into P4. Yeah, very and, solid uh, race. Is that it? He had a quiet, solid race. Just waiting for people ahead of him to make Which uh, I think I think that's the thing. Most of them have had a quiet, solid, solid race. Like your top three. Obviously Taylor having the uh, the bump with mechanical. Yeah. Depending on Stewart's decisions, you know, that he, he could potentially yeah. be facing a penalty if it's reported. Um, mm. But other than that, the, the four of your top five have been fairly solid and stayed around where they are. But Osso's the anomaly, though. Up 15 positions in a full dry race is, is almost an, uh, un, unheard of. You like know, if it, if it were full left. wet, say like the sprint, it were full yeah. wet, I'd, I'd expect to see something like that, but not in the dry. But as you say, five laps to go, let's see see how it works out now. Mechanicals drops out of that DRS of Carl. They're both on very similar levels of ERS as well. Taylor's using more. Osso's got bags of ERS left. He's at 95%. Yeah. He's waiting for the DRS to open. This is going to be interesting. It's not over till it's over. Um, and, you know, we've got a lot of guys down the pack that are very close together. From Nerf Pack all the way down to the back I'm of the just, grid. I'm just on board with Kane now because he's right on the back of Nerf Pack. But Nerf Pack has drained the ZRS. I think this is going to be an easy, easy overtake for Kane Lowry. But well, that's it. Like I said, Nerf Pack all the way down to the back of, back of the grid. Everyone's within DRS of each other. Is Chris making yeah. a move up the inside of Kane? He is. No. He backed out. Oh. But that benefits Wab. He's yeah. Just capitalized on that. I weren't sure if we were catching Wab though, if he was going to co collect him. This is where a soft tire is kicking in now, really. We've had them on for a couple of laps. They don't last that long. We've got someone going down though. Bark. Oh wow. Terriers. Terriers, Terriers is out. Yeah. Saki and he's collected Bark. Saki as well. Yeah. They both span coming out of turn four and then. Terry and it's a full safety car. Oh wow. Ah, this is oh, this, this is probably gonna screw off those chances, but all those who started yeah. on who, who decided to pit for softs, it's gonna help them. Fingers though, where's the first soft runner? P8, that's what's happened, but he's got a penalty as well, so. Yeah, jump. Three off. seconds only though. Yeah, he's got a game full behind him, he's got a penalty as well. It's going to be close this, but also now has to absolutely attack the, uh, the the restart. I know he was saving his ERS that time round, what? but three what laps to go and he's got a three second yeah. penalty. He has, to, he has to push. Yeah, he can't defend because everybody else in the back, at the back is going to get so close and he's just going to lose so many positions because of that three time. Three, three second time penalty. What do you do if you're a colony though? Do you just accept P2 or do you go for it? Well, I think we know Carl's good at these safety car restarts. I think Colin has to just push and try and stay with Carl. Just tr attack just to stay with Carl. Um, whether he goes for the win or not depends on probably how the restart goes, but it all depends on how long the safety car's out. If I'm honest, it might only be out for a lap. It might be one of those late. Yeah, late cars call. In. Yeah, because most of the field is bunched up. Yeah, it's better start calling him now though, because he's coming up to the pit lane. Yeah, I think it might just stay out for another lap in the fair. 
Yeah, so there'll be, what, two two laps to go, a lap and a half. Will the last lap be a DRS lap? No. No, it won't. It's uh, two laps after this the is safety car right. in. So this is literally all down to raw pace now. Who's going to be smarter with the ERS? And, and this is it. Better, better, better exits. Everyone's going to be looking at that safety car restart to get the best jump they possibly can. Also was quite cautious on the last one and, you know, reserving his ERS. I think for this last two laps, he's going to be throwing everything at it. He has to. He has to if he's got to take a win like <laughs> I predicted. As Dan says, <laughs> stewards are on L and his lads sorted out between yourselves. <laughs> If only it were that easy. Yeah. Uh, we come back to the whole fucking server burnt down. Oh, we got F, F bomb. I and I I, 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 yeah, clean. yeah. Oh. I bit myself about six times as well. What's the point? <laughs> I'm bleeding here. Well, Dan's not here. I thought Safety I'd, car I'd in throw it in. Safety car in. Right. So this all depends now on the start that Carl gets. Whether the guy's behind are trying to get the jump on him. I'm going to stay on board with Wab here because he's, like I said, the first with soft tyres. I want to see how he, what what he makes out of it now. I'm going to stay on board with the, the, the front four. I want to keep an eye on how Osso does, but I want to see how, how Cal's start is. As Dan says, there we go. Yeah. You set me up. <laughs> he's not even here and he's setting you up. That isn't it supposed to be working. And Carl, Carl looks like he's got a good run again. Almost. Wow. Yeah, almost a second Wab's already. Oh, the Wab just span. Wab just span. Oh, no. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, Carl got the jump on Mechanical. Mechanical got the jump on Taylor. Also, he's pushing now. He's all over the back of Taylor on the run into turn three. And he's, he, again, he's 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 been he's sensible with his ERS. A box of jam pot as well. Saki on the back of Bark. <coughs> Colin has to throw everything at Carl now, but it's one of those as well. You don't want to drain an ERS before the last lap. You know just. Not many places to overtake, as I found out in two one on Friday. Yeah, especially without DRS as well. Yeah. And I think that's it. I think that's what's going to cost us. Or oh, is no DRS. I think if he had the DRS, he'd be flying a lot more. Um, that that the second. Oh, who's that? Wab snapping. It's just span again. And Dylan. Oh no, Kane's just picked up a penalty and he's all over the back of the pack. That's not going to help him at all. It's going to help Jam Pop though, I think. Also pushing now, better exit out of turn one than Taylor. Four temps, he's turned his ERS off again. This is the final lap of the race, push! Carl's drained his ERS though. see the move but Kane did did make a move on the nose back in the end. Also looks like he's he's settling for that to be honest. Uh -huh. Um Matey Boy's all over the back of him so he's gonna lose a position. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Just on board with Colin, he's rinsed his ERS as well. But he's not gonna be close enough to make a move on Carl. Brilliant result from Carl. Brilliant drive. Yeah. Those safety car restarts helped him loads. And yeah. It, it was all down to him as well, so fair enough. You know, that puts the penalty from also puts Matey Boy into P4. Again, we haven't spoke about him. I don't think we've spoke about him at all. No, he's, he's just, been very, he's very keeping, quiet. Just a solid quiet. Race. Keeping to himself, yeah. And he's a Hass Boy as well, so. Big points. <laughs> That's what we want to see. I will say, as good as Carl's drive's been, as good as Mechanical's been, as good as Taylor's been on his debut here, for me, I think Osso still takes driver of the day. Unfortunate picking up a three-second penalty near the end. 
and that last safety car probably cost him a bit more but up from p19 to p5 to see him up there in dry conditions is <laughs> is, is brilliant to see but what are your thoughts I'd, 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 yeah i would have to agree with this it, it would have been such a great end to the race if he didn't have that penalty i'd love to see where he'd stick those mediums in because he had a brilliant strategy now to say everything we spoke about has played into Otto's hands. The only thing that hasn't is, well, track limits. <laughs> Which is uh, a, a, a common, a common Otto yeah. problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we did say, you know, safety car plays into the medium's hands. It didn't. It played into the hards of Otto. You know, then another safety car came out. Everything played into his hands. And, yeah, he's just got to be a little bit more careful with the track limits and... But it's exciting, you know, what, the, the the top four, top five throughout the whole race within pretty much two, three seconds of each other, like a DR strain, as, we, as we've seen. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mental. It was very close. You, you know, for, I'd said probably 90% of the race, the top five were all in DRS of each other. Um, insane to see. But uh, confirmation there, your podium is Cal Trim. Mechanical and Taylor Danny. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Thanks for joining us. Uh, make sure yeah, you're here next thanks, week. Uh, Tia 2 will be live on Friday, 8 30. Um, tier 1 as well. And we're. Yeah, the Twitch. Twitch is. Tier 2 is on the Twitch. I'm, I'm trying to think what track we're at. It's a track I don't like. Baku. It's Baku. It's Baku. Yeah. We're here at Baku, Friday, 8.30. Make sure you tune in. Thanks all. Yeah.